So your Shopify store started getting sales or it's about to get sales, you're about to launch your store, but there's only one little problem. You're not making enough profit on each order. You want to increase your AOV, which is your average order value, and simply make more profit on each transaction and get more profits at the end of the month, which is exactly what I'm going to go over in this video when I teach you guys about the best e-commerce upselling and cross-selling apps to use on your Shopify stores for those exact reasons. Quick intro and let's go. Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a great day today. My name is Luan from AutoDS, I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about the best e-commerce upselling and cross-selling apps to use for your Shopify stores so that you can increase your average order value and simply make more profit on each order and more profits at the end of the month, which is what we're all here for. So without further ado, if you are new to our YouTube channel, this is the part where you need to subscribe to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the dropshipping world and everything that's related to it when it comes to product finding articles, dropshipping tips and strategies, suppliers, marketplaces, new features, and so much more. Hit that subscribe button, enable those notifications, and let's go. So what is e-commerce upselling in the first place? And what's the difference between upselling and cross-selling? Let's go over that really quick. Let's say you want to buy a brand new laptop. Now, it doesn't matter if you're purchasing this laptop online or at a local retail store. So for this example, let's go to the local retail store. You walk up to the salesperson and you tell him, hey, I'm looking for a laptop with a dual core processor, maybe four gigabytes of RAM, it's enough for me. Windows 10, and that's just about it. That's enough for me. I just want to surf the web a little bit and that's just about it. So those specs fit my needs. Now the computer salesperson tells you, okay, no problem. I got that computer, dual core processor, four gigabytes of RAM right here. It costs $200, but for an extra $100, you can get it with 16 gigabytes of RAM, a quad core CPU and a 3D card. If maybe you wanna play some games, edit some videos or anything that you might wanna do a year or two from now, but you'll be limiting yourself if you don't upgrade your system now. For just $100, it actually sounds pretty good to be set for the next three, four or five years. So why should I be buying this laptop for only one year? And then in the next year, I'll have to buy it again. So you know what, it actually sounds pretty good. Go ahead and upgrade me and the salesperson says great let me get that quad core laptop ready for you so what just happened was he just upselled you when you're about to buy a product but you've been upgraded to a higher version of that same product that is called an upsell so what just happened is you increase the average order value or the aov for the retailer for that store that's selling you that laptop so they're making more profit because if they're profiting let's say 20 percent from a hundred dollars or 20% from $200, then obviously 20% from $200 is going to make them more money. So the higher the price, the more profit. And when you upsell, once again, you're taking the product that you want to buy, scratch it out and get another product instead of it. So that once again is upselling. Now the same salesperson tells you, okay, so here's your quad core laptop. All is good. It's only going to cost you $300. But just so you know, because you bought this product, because you bought a brand new computer, we actually have a sale for people who buy brand new computers. You can now buy accessories like a mouse, a keyboard, a mouse pad, maybe some speakers, everything for 40% off for anyone who buys a new PC. Okay, whoa, so I can't come back tomorrow and get the same deal because it's only for people who buy a brand new PC at the same time while they're still in the store. So maybe I should grab onto this deal and get myself a nice little mouse, keyboard, mouse pad, speakers, and any other peripheral that I want to add to my little laptop. What that is, is called a cross sell. So what happens is I still got my main product, which is the quad core laptop. I'm still keeping that laptop. I'm not upgrading it to a different product, but I'm adding more products on the side. That is called cross selling. Now in this video, we are going to talk about the best Shopify upselling apps. And we will be talking also a little bit about cross selling because that is also a very good thing to have. Let's see some live examples of upselling and cross selling techniques. And then we'll get right onto the list of the best upselling apps to use for your Shopify five stores to increase your average order values and get more profit. So here are some good examples of upselling examples. This one is coming from Amazon. So let me just zoom in on this image a little bit. And as you can see here, this is when you're trying to buy a fire tablet from Amazon. 
So what happens here is they show you the main product and when you scroll down a little bit, you're seeing this comparison chart. And what we're seeing here is the original Fire 7 that we clicked on for $50. Here you can see the specs, right? The resolution, the screen size, the storage, CPU, RAM, and so forth. And then they're starting to upsell you, which is change the main product, change this Fire 7 to a Fire HD 8 for $90 with better specifications or an HD 8 Plus higher price, better specifications, or the Fire HD 10, their flagship model for the Fire tablets. This one is coming with a 10 inch full HD 1080p, 32 or 64 gigabytes of RAM, the best specs that they have for that Fire laptop. So what they did is they are slowly and gradually upgrading you step by step. So if you're coming with a budget, they don't want to freak you out from, you know, jumping from $50 straight to $150. That usually doesn't make too much sense. But when you do it gradually from 50 to 90, 90, 110, 110, 150, they try to balance it out a little bit as much as they could. And this way, no matter what your budget is, you can definitely go with the upselling here, get a better laptop, put a little bit more money on the side, and that is how that is done. And just so you guys know, over 67% of e-commerce stores today are using upselling and cross-selling techniques, and that is because it works. So hopefully after this video, you guys will understand exactly how and why, and you will start to implement them in your stores if you are not doing it yet. So that's one upselling example when they're trying to upgrade to a better tablet, showing you better specs and a higher budget, step-by-step, step, not jumping from $50 to 150. Here is another way that they're doing it by using the customers who viewed this item also viewed. Here you're looking at some espresso machine. And when you scroll down a little bit, instead of seeing some comparison chart like this, because you cannot upgrade this machine to the same manufacturer, but only get an upgraded version or whatnot. So there are a few different upselling examples. In this case, you're looking at some espresso machine and Amazon is saying customers who viewed this espresso machine also viewed these espresso machines. In this case, they're trying to switch the main product with a much more expensive and upgraded version of that product as we're seeing here. So as to increase their average order value, their AOV and make more profit after each sale. Now let's see another example from Overstock, another huge dropshipping supplier, how they use upselling techniques. So here we are looking at some certain type of sofa, which costs in this case $492.09. And what happens when you scroll down just a little bit is similar items in sofas and couches. So what they're doing here once again is they're switching the main product with a different product only this time look at the prices almost $1,000, $770. Every price that we see here is more expensive than the original price because there is no point in upselling and showing a cheaper product to upsell, which means you'll make less profit by upselling that product. And then there's, you didn't really do anything effective using the upselling technique. So again, upselling is switching the main product with another one that has to be more expensive. It has to be an upgraded version of that product. And it cannot be a product that is not connected to the main product. So you cannot switch a laptop, for example, with a dining table. That makes no sense. Nobody's going to do that. And you're simply probably going to miss that sell. So there's another example that AliExpress is upselling, but I think you guys got the point. You understand what upselling looks like, but just so you know, the biggest retailers and biggest suppliers, biggest e-commerce stores in the world are using upselling techniques because it is a working method. Home Depot is doing it too by showing comparison charts just like Amazon. As you can see here, a slow cooker. And in this case, you're starting with the cheapest one. And as you go along, it's getting more expensive and more expensive to a more upgraded product. They're doing it also by doing comparison charts and also by showing you customers who viewed this also viewed just like Amazon. They learn from the best because these techniques work. So now that I'm sure that you guys have a great idea of what upselling is, the difference between upselling and cross-selling when you're changing the main product on upselling and in cross-selling when you're just adding accessories to go with the main product, both ways increase your average order value. But if you really want to get a kick out of it, you need to focus on upselling, changing the main product to a more upgraded, more expensive version of the main product 
And if you're able to cross sell, that's another nice little bonus along the way. So let's get on with the main event. What are the best e-commerce upselling Shopify apps to use for your Shopify dropshipping stores to increase your average order value, get more profit from each transaction, each sale that you make, and make much more profit at the end of the month this way. Let's go ahead and get started with that list. The first Shopify upselling app that I want to recommend you guys to use is called Reconvert Upsell and cross sell so in this case you guessed it this application is going to help you with upselling and also with cross selling so it's going to help you change the main product to a more upgraded more advanced more expensive version of that product and at the same time it'll also help you cross selling so you can add more accessories to go with that main product and increase your average order value even more there are more apps i want to show you a small example of how this one works so i'm going to click on add app and as you see here, it's synchronizing now with my Shopify store. You're about to install reconvert post purchase upsell, going to click on install app. So as you see, installing apps is as easy as clicking on the link and clicking on install app. Okay, so here they're letting me know that we're getting a free trial. We're going to click on let's go. And once again, I want to approve my subscription. So I'm going to click on approve subscription, zero dollars. Okay, so this is what it looks like after you install the app. There's a few things you can do here. For example, enable the app to actually start working on your website. But before that, you do want to customize it and set up your settings. So you can start by creating a new template and taking actions on your existing ones. If you scroll down, you'll get a dashboard to see exactly how much sales this app helped you to get and an overall dashboard on everything that's going on with the impressions, the bounce rates, total orders, the average order values and so forth. And as you see here, you can create a template for any type of situation that you can come across when it comes to upselling and cross-selling for the products on your store. Here, for example, you have a thank you first name. So this is after a customer purchases something from your store and they get a thank you message. So you can completely customize that and get them to buy more products from even after they buy from your store. Here you see people who bought this also bought. So this is another way of upselling as I've showed you in some examples before. So you can get a product and when someone is looking at a specific product, you can tell reconvert to tell them that people who bought this product also bought these three products instead. And of course, they have to be a more upgraded, a more expensive version of that main product. So this is another upselling technique that we have using reconvert. Here you have another order is confirmed page, so you can customize that. You can also share your order on social media. So customize that however way you want it. And that way your buyer can also share their purchase and maybe get some of their friends or family to see that post and get to your store and also buy one for themselves. Another one here is how they will see it on the cart page. So you can customize that too. Let us know your birthday, a special gift will be heading your way. So this is a nice way to get your customers birthdays or even get them on your mailing list and start building your email subscriber list. So you know that this app can help you with that too. Get more for 30% off. Offer expires in and then you got a countdown timer. Here you can put a product and simply give your buyers a nice discount. This may not be an upselling or cross-selling technique, but it's a nice little feature that this app can help you with. And as you see here, you can completely customize everything and anything. I will not do it in this video because it will simply be too long. But as you see here, for example, on the left area, you can add more sections. And in those sections, you see all of the things that you can do. For example, product upsell. Now I added another product upsell on the left side of this page, but we already have it. So this is just creating some kind of a landing page. You need to create the right pages for your store and also show them all of these nice upselling techniques because this app is really one of the best upselling apps that we were able to find on Shopify today. The best part is it also has a free plan which you can use for up to the first 50 orders that you get on every month. So that makes it a lot more comfortable only start spending money after you start making money. That is one of the best business models that I can think of. Reconvert upsell and cross sell is number one on our list and it is one of our favorites. Here's a nice little screenshot of how it looks like after you implement those upselling features so you can see it here. And that is number one on our list. Number two, we have an app called Honeycomb Upsell Funnels. 
What this does is it helps you create cross-sell and upsell funnels on your Shopify store. So if I click on it just to show you some examples, but I will not install every app right now. So as you can see, their main goal is to help you create upsell and cross-selling funnels. So they're good at creating upsell funnels for our stores. And using the media gallery, I'll show you some of their examples. So here you can create an offer. As you can see here, this is a limited time offer that will expire in this much minutes and this many seconds. So here they can add it to order or check out, continue to check out. Here you can start to split A-B test your upselling funnels. So in this example, you're creating a certain type of offer. So grab this deal, leather dog leash for this much money. This is how much you're saving. Choose your variation color choose your size and choose your quantity. Then you got vegan treats, where in this case you're choosing a pack size, so one, two, three, four, five, six pack in this example, and what flavor you want. So it's different options than what we're seeing here. You can completely customize the drop down menu and even make it an open text field as you can see here. So custom pet head cover, your pet's name, fill in your pet's name, and they will simply print it out on that pet head cover. So that's another way of using this upselling funnel. And this screenshot is showing you that you can simply split A-B test your upselling funnels and see exactly what's working well, what's not working. And the more you test, the more you analyze, the more results you are going to see on your dropshipping stores. And that goes for just about anything. Here's a nice example of what I just explained. So split A-B testing, two different split test funnels. And as you can see here, B did much better than A, giving us 13.3% better conversions as opposed to A with a negative 5.8% which means this one decreased our conversions and this one increased them. So obviously we know which one we are going for. So this is what the honeycomb upsell and cross sell funnels is good for. And that's why it is number two on our list for the top upsell Shopify apps. Let's move on to number three. Here we got an app called Frequently Bought Together and this one is self-explanatory with its title. I will just show you the image for this app because once again, it's very self-explanatory and this is what it does. So we talked about how Amazon and other big online retailers, dropshipping suppliers and anything else you wanna call them, they are using upselling techniques like frequently bought together like what we're seeing here. So this one goes inside the product page and what this app is going to do is it's going to create your frequently bought together on every product page that you have that you choose where you want to have that frequently bought together. Now, I'm not sure if you guys noticed this yet, but this is a cross-selling example as opposed to upselling examples, which is what we saw up until now. In this example, we are not switching the main product. We're not upgrading it to a better, more expensive version of that product. What we're doing here is we're telling the buyer, hey, anyone who's buying this bike is usually buying this and this lock too. So all these accessories usually go together with this bike. That's what customers usually buy. You might wanna go ahead and do that too, or at least consider doing it. That's why we're giving you this option. And then in this case, instead of a total cost of $329 for that bicycle, we're going to end up paying $637.99, but we are going to get it with these accessories that we need. So Frequently Bought Together is a great cross-selling app to have. And as you guys know, the biggest online retailers, dropshipping suppliers, whatever you wanna call them, the biggest e-commerce stores in the world today are using upselling and cross-selling techniques such as this one. So there's no reason for you not to take those practices and implement them on your dropshipping stores too. Our fourth app on the list is an app called UFE 2.0 Upsell Funnel Engine. As you can see here, let me show you the image. And by the way, you can click on every one of these apps and install them really easily by using the link to the blog that we have below this video. Over there, you have the links to every app that I'm talking about. But of course, do keep watching this video because I am throwing in more value here. So here, once again, we're inside a product page, just like frequently bought together. Only in this case, what this app is telling us to do is buy more quantities of that same product. And this way, get a discount. The more quantity you buy, the bigger volume discount we are going to give you. So while we're not upgrading the current product with a more expensive, more upgraded version of that product, and we're not adding in more accessories, we are increasing our average order value, our AOV, which means at the end of the day, we are going to profit more. Even if we give them 15 or 10% off for buying a higher quantity, we're still going to make more profit because the average order value inside our cart continued to increase and we are working by percentages. So as long as we're not profiting small numbers like 10 or 20% per order, we need to make more profits than that. 
That way, no matter what quantity they're buying, we're just going to profit more and more. The last app that I want to talk to you guys about is called Candy Rack One Click Upsells. This is a great app to use for every buyer or every potential customer who added a product to their cart. So once they click that add to cart button, you can trigger something really special to happen on your stores. And that can either be a cross-selling or upselling technique. Here you can see that we're in a product page, an analog alarm clock. And what they're giving you is an option to upgrade to a better version of that product or add accessories to go with the initial product. So the upgrading options here are upselling techniques and the options to add are cross-selling techniques. You can use them both. And that's what's so special about this app called Candy Rack. So once again, it's a mix of upselling and cross-selling and you can do it all once the customer adds a product to their cart. Let me see if there's an example where we can see from their store, from an example store right here. So I'm going to click on view example store and this way you can see exactly how it's going to work on your store once you add this app. So what I'm going to do is choose my variation and then click on add to cart, which is where this app needs to come into play. Okay, so I clicked on add to cart and as you see, just as that image showed us. So here I can upgrade to a better version of that product or I can add more accessories, even extend my warranty, or first in line, get faster shipping. So these are all great ideas to increase our average order value. And that is what's so special about Candy Rack, the fifth Shopify dropshipping app that I want to recommend you guys to use for your upselling and cross-selling techniques, increase your AOVs and make more profit on every order that you get. Now, I want to recommend some more apps, but first let's talk about some do's and don'ts when it comes to upselling. Keep this in mind along the way. Number one, when you're upselling, look at the pricing. Don't go up to more than 25% more. Let me rephrase that. If the initial product costs $100 and you want to upsell them to a better, more advanced, more upgraded version of that product, the first jump should be somewhere around 25%. So once again, the initial product cost $100. The upgraded product that you want them to move to should cost $125. Of course, you cannot make it exactly on the number, but this is the main idea. If you go 50% more, 75% more, 100% more, there's a high chance that they will not go through with that upselling process and they will stick with the main original product. Up to 25% more, see how that works for that specific product on that specific audience and move forward from there. Number two, offer product comparisons and similar products. So we already talked about this, how to create customers view this also viewed, showing product comparisons and products that are similar to this one. Number three, upsell your best sellers. So if you have a lot of products on your store and it's going to take you way too much time to upsell each and every one of them, start with the products that are selling. These are the products that are most likely going to sell again and the buyers will see your upselling techniques there and they most likely will go through with the upselling process because you will offer them a better version of that product that they may not have known that you have on your store until they saw your upselling attempt. Number four, do not overwhelm the customers. So don't throw offers all over the place offering so many similar items or increasing the price by more than 25%. Don't overwhelm them with the numbers. Don't try to confuse them. Keep everything simple and basic. That's what the buyers like to see. And that is what you should do on your stores. Number five and the final piece of advice, and this is a very obvious one. Listen to your customers, see what they have to say. Check your emails, check your messages, whatever social media platforms you have connected to your store, see if they're sending you any messages over there and reply to them. In many cases, they're just asking a simple question and once you answer them, they see that there's a human being on the other side, that's good enough for them, they'll go through with the purchase and you will enjoy that sell too. So listen to your customers, do not overwhelm them, upsell your best sellers, they have a much higher chance of selling again and they will be able to go with the upselling product that you are trying to upgrade them to. Offer different product comparisons, similar products. We talked about that one too and how to do it and which apps will help you do it and up to 25% more to begin with. Once you see that it's working really well, you can change it to 30, 40 and even 50% more, but work your way up slowly and let's go back to do not overwhelm your customers with those numbers. Now, I wanna to talk to you guys about a few more apps that you can use. We have another article. This one talks about the best one-click upsell Shopify dropshipping apps and the difference between regular upsell and one-click upsell is that one-click upsell apps are going to upgrade your customer's card in just one click. So they won't have to click around a few times. 
choose something else and see what's gonna go on after that these apps do it really really quick straight and to the point so the first one is called one click upsell zipify ocu i'm not going to go over it now but just so you know it's there and i'm going to leave the link right below this video too another one is called goodie basket the third one is called product accessories you can see an example here of how they can help you this is obviously a cross-selling app where on the product page in just one click as you can see here the customer can just click okay i want this one and this one and this one to go along too that's it add to cart in that one click to add to cart he already has all of the cross-selling products that he wants to buy with this product another one is called ultra cod pre-order and upsell and another one is called checkout promotions and upsells now once again i do not want to go too much in depth because this video took longer than it should have but you know me i love to share the value i can go on forever these are the best shopify upselling and cross-selling apps to use on your dropshipping stores and i truly hope that you guys enjoyed this video and then after it you will see what upselling apps you want to use on your store which cross-selling apps you want to use on your store and start to implement these strategies now you will start to see the results remember it's all about testing keep in mind all of the great tips that i gave you guys in this video and start implementing the more you test the more you analyze the more results you will see at the end of the day i really hope that you guys once again enjoyed this video if you did give us a like give us a share so that your friends and family can also learn about the wild and amazing world of drop shipping and if there's any questions or comments let me know down below i will personally go over your messages and answer them thank you for watching guys see you in the next video